what's good YouTube swiftly here back with another NBA 2k25 video and in today's video I have another episode of rare builds for you guys as you can see on your screen today's episode we are going to be creating a point power forward build so with that being said let's jump right into the build now of course you're gonna have to make this build at the power forward position otherwise you won't get the name point power forward obviously it's in the build name that you need to make a power forward because it's called a point power forward uh, you can play around with the height and the weight, the wingspan, and all of that stuff. As usual, this is just a template for you guys to get the build name, you know, point power forward. You could do all of the tweaking and changing as you like. It's totally up to you. This is just what I went with when making my build. So with that being said, let's jump into these attributes. Uh, I went with a 65 close shot. I went with an 80 driving layup. Then we have a 60 driving dunk, just enough to get some dunking animations, you know, when we, you know, drive to the paint or whatever. We have a 37 standing dunk because I didn't really touch this or the post control, which is a 48. Uh, you know, we just have the 60 driving dunk, mostly just because we want to use the layup so we can get to the rim. You want to have some type of finishing, as I always say. You don't want your build to be one dimensional where you can't do anything. Uh, this build will, at the very least, be able to run a pick and roll when you aren't shooting or spacing the floor. You'll be able to run a pick and roll. You'll be able to finish with a layup. Got a 60 driving dunk, which is enough to get, you know, uh, a alley-oop here and there to get some dunks and whatnot. It's not like you're going to be catching, you know, uh, meter dunks and contact dunks or anything like that. It's just enough to run a pick and roll and finish at the rim, you know, decently. Uh, for the shooting, we're going to be rocking a 73 mid-range with an 83 three ball, which means we will have access to bronze limitless range. We will be able to space the floor. You see we got that bronze dead eye along with that silver set shot specialist. Now keep in mind, we're going to back out really quickly just so you guys can see that this build does you know, have an 88 mid-range cap. So if you do want to raise your shooting on this build, you can raise the shooting on this build. If you want to raise the finishing on this build, I'll back out once again. You can see that the cap for driving dunk and layup is 99 for both, as well as a 90 standing dunk. So again, when it comes to cap breakers, you can put your cap breakers up to make this build much better. You can, you know, up your mid range so that way you can get better shooting badges for that 83 three ball. Uh, you can also, you know, upgrade, you know, your uh, finishing to get better finishing as well, too. It's totally up to you what you put your cap breakers on. I'm just letting you guys know that. I don't want you guys to see this and think that this is the finished product because, you know, we do have cap breakers that we can add to our build to make this build just, you know, a little bit better, you know. Uh, moving on, we have the playmaking, which we have an 87 pass accuracy for that uh, gold break starter, gold dimer. With bronze versatile visionary and bronze bailout. Uh, then for the ball handle, we are going to be rocking a 93 ball handle for gold ankle assassin handles for days and gold unpluckable. And then for the speed with ball, we're just going to be rocking an 80 speed with ball, which is going to give us silver uh, lightning launch. Uh, then for our defense, we're looking at an 82 interior defense. Uh, we're looking at an 85 perimeter defense. Uh, we're looking at a 56 steal, which isn't much, and then we're going to also have a 78 block, which is going to get us that uh, silver high-flying denier, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and, of course, bronze uh, paint patroller or whatever. So, you know, we'll have some decent uh, badges and whatnot. And then we have an 80 defensive rebound with a 45 offensive, so we have silver rebound chaser as well on our build. We have an 82 speed. We have an 85 agility. We have an 85 strength, although you can drop that strength down to an 84 if you only care about a Hall of Fame strong handle. I went with 85 just so that we could get that uh, golden movable enforcer, just making us just slightly better on defense as well, too. And then finally, we round out the build with an 85 vertical. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what it, where did I go wrong with this build. I think... Uh, what, what did not put on my build? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Why do I have extra points? All right. Well, we could throw that into. Oh, I I didn't touch the free throw. That's that's where I screwed up at. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I didn't touch the free throw. That's my bad, y'all. It's an 80 free throw on this build. I totally skipped over the free throw. 
Uh, yeah, so this is the build. I was wondering why I had so many extra points left over because I'm like 85 vertical should have been the end of it. But yeah, I forgot I put an 80 free throw on this build as well too. Uh, but if you play park, then you don't have to worry about the free throw. You can take the free throw away, put that on to steal or something like that. So you can get like bronze interceptors. Totally up to you. Uh, do keep in mind, I'm going to back out really quickly that again, you can get a 99 steal with this build. 99 perimeter, 99 pass. Uh, 99 driving dunk, 99 layup. You get a lot of uh, legendary badges that you can actually put onto this build. You know what I'm saying? And with with those cap breakers, you know what I'm saying? You can increase this to a 95 layup, a 75 driving dunk, uh, a 88 uh, midi. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know what the not 87 10. 97 you could get a 99 pass accuracy on this build i'm trying to do the math really quickly and then you could get a 99 perimeter on this build as well too you can't get a 99 steel but you can't get your steel up enough to you could get bronze interceptor and some level of glove as well too so with the you know cap breakers us having 15 cap breakers you can you know make this build just a little bit better you know way better passer way better shooter Personally, I would put my cap breakers on the mid range just so I could get better badges with the uh, higher mid range, making this build just that much a better shooter. The playmaking is already really well. You already have decent defense as you have interior defense, you have perimeter defense, and you have a decent block. So you can play inside and out defensively. You have a decent rebounding with an 80 defensive rebound. And then the physicals are actually pretty decent at 82 speed, 85 agility, 85 strength with the 85 vertical. This is a very balanced build, you know, for a point power forward build. Um, you know, you don't have amazing finishing, but again, with cap breakers, you can easily put this up to a 95 driving layup. Uh, you could put this to an 80 close shot or a 75 driving dunk and still have some pretty decent uh, finishing on this build, making you well-rounded. You know what I mean? And then, of course, when we clear our build, we'll see the shades up. We see Draymond Green up there. We see Josh Hart up there. And we see Jalen Williams up there. And then, of course, we see our build name, which we've created. Of course, a point power forward. So there you have it. This is my point power forward build for NBA 2K25. It's been your boy, Swiftly. Please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA 2K25 content. And, of course, more rare builds like this. I'm out, y'all. Peace.